Welcome at Freitroimen. Today we're at the conference, which is the public day of the Stadnachacht conference in Berlin. And what we are doing during this conference is offering many different kind of narratives and perspectives that highlight club culture in a lot of different directions or ways. We treat the topics such as health and safety, inclusivity versus exclusivity, new urban tools and rave diplomacy. So the topics that we addressed here today, the curatorial line that was sort of passing through the event, was the narratives of the Dionysus rituals from ancient time, from Boom Festival, from activism versus spiritualism, drug policies, revolution in Georgia, Jaza crew from Palestine, underground resistance. The fact that, you know, I exist and I'm alive is a statement. And I, and I speak out because of all of the people before me who were killed because they were speaking, it becomes very, very important for me to do this. There are plenty of things to be angry about, and there's no end to that. But what happens with a lot of movements is that people get tired. The experience of being able to release doesn't actually weaken it, it actually strengthens it. It gives people more energy to be able to fight moving forward. But I would say the fact that, that we live and we thrive and we do better uh, that is the revolt. My name is Roman Gantz. I am creative director of Club Space based um, in St. Petersburg, Russia. The most important aim for me is to connect uh, club space with the new generation and to uh, provide them with a safe space. For me it's very exciting to be here in Berlin because I feel as someone that is connected to the Sightrend scene, I'm now coming into the kingdom of techno. And for me, the merging of these two scenes is really relevant right now. We got to the point where this is possible. I really hope that the knowledge that these two tribes have been developing over the past years can finally merge. The political awareness of the techno scene, the spiritual awareness of the psychedelic trance scene can finally merge, reunite and cross-pollinate. Hi, I'm Tiana T. I'm a DJ and a former journalist from Belgrade, Serbia. I was talking today about the history and the development of rave and techno scene in Belgrade and Serbia from the beginning of the 90s until today, and especially in the political and social context of a country where rave actually started in uh, war times and the times of isolation and how it developed in the 21st century into something that is now being globally recognized as one of the um, most inspiring party destinations in Europe. You hear it in music. Uh, Marvin Gaye said, makes me want to holler, the way they do my life, okay? Grandmaster Flash talked about uh, like a jungle sometimes, it makes me wonder how I keep from going under. That's what people are dealing with. You know, people enjoy it at the club because it was some great music, but they don't understand these words are real. People are, are, are suffering and, and, and being crushed. And so this becomes a way for people to, to keep on going and to keep fighting. Because when system cannot stop you dance, it gets cracks into it and eventually it falls down. 